Hey everyone, today we're exploring the tiny town of Carleton Place, Ontario. We're currently on our second leg of our four month trip through Ontario, Quebec, Greece and Italy. So Carleton Place is a town of about 10,000 people located in Ontario, Canada, about 50 kilometers or 30 miles west of our nation's capital of Ottawa. Now Carleton Place has a pretty interesting history. Uh, so we're told, so we're going to discover what that is today. Uh, apparently it has a lot of history with World War II. And so we're, and one. And so we're, uh, so we're going to find that out today. It also has a labyrinth and a few interesting things to discover. So we're going to see what this small town has to offer. Uh, it's also about 30 degrees outside <laughs> with the humidity. I hear it's almost 40. So we'll see how far we get today. Our first stop is the one I'm most excited about. We're meeting with the local Hackberry Men's Shed to take a look at their half-size replica of a World War I plane that they're building to honor Carlton Place's most famous citizen, Rob Brown, who is credited with taking down the Red Baron. The Men's Shed has been working on this plane for about two years, and when it's done, they're hoping to feature it in a local parade or put it in the local Rob Brown Museum. This plane is so amazing that we couldn't put it all into one video. So please check out our next video coming out in a few days to watch this model plane get put together and hear from the people that built it. We're back on the trail heading towards the downtown area and the labyrinth. Carleton Place was settled along the Mississippi River and the path that runs by it is used for all different types of recreation. It is hot out. We are still looking for the labyrinth. Still looking for the labyrinth? You think you'd be trying to find your way out of it. Okay, we think we know where the labyrinth is now, so we are walking towards it. We definitely don't want to miss it because it's listed as one of the top 10 things to do here in Carlton Place. Okay, I was really, I get a little bit nervous sometimes going through a labyrinth or a corn maze or something because I get really worried that I'm going to get lost. So, uh, I don't think you have to worry about that here. Hey, did you get lost when I stopped you? <laughs> no. Should I be going that way? I don't know. Did you get lost? <laughs> I hope this is right. I can't tell. I don't recognize anything. Am I going the wrong way? I seriously... Oh no, I think I'm good. I got this. I got this. It's here. Hey. I can't believe you had me doubt my direction. <laughs> so apparently I had the definition of what a labyrinth is wrong. According to this, unlike a maze, a labyrinth is a single path that goes to the center and back out again. This way is the way out. It has been said that in a maze you lose yourself and in a labyrinth you discover yourself. Carlton Place's lumber industry started in about 1819, and you can see lots of cute buildings and large homes from that era. Okay, if the labyrinth wasn't enough for you, another item on the top 10 list of things to do in Carlton Place includes the Mississippi River Rock Walk Trail. There are a lot of really old houses on this street. Yeah, it looks like you could film a horror movie here on some of them. Carlton Place might not have the name recognition of a lot of famous cities we visit, but that was a ton of fun. But now let's make some fresh from the garden dinner. Tonight we're using tomatoes, butternut squash, and basil to make our meal. We're slicing and peeling the squash, coating it with olive oil, drizzling on some real maple syrup, and roasting it in the oven at 425 degrees for 30 minutes. Our salad has all different types of tomatoes in it, some basil, and then we mixed it with olive oil and a balsamic reduction. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And don't forget to check back in a few days for our video on the details of the model plane build.